Hey everyone, welcome back to another Tech Tips with Meaty. Today is going to be kind of a, a simple, simple thing here as far as uh, not really tips go, but I'm going to kind of walk through upgrading a GPU or graphics card inside your PC. What I have here is the new GTX 780 uh, SC, which is the super clocked model by EVGA, the three gigabytes. And, you know, I've been I've been kicking this around a little bit for a while as far as upgrading. When the Titans first came out, uh, I was curious about, you know, what those would do and and um, what the performance gains over the 680 would be, okay? So I waited a little while, then the 780 came out, and I've been doing a bunch of research on different sites. And if you guys can actually hear any, any little background fan noise, right like 12 inches away right there is my my other PC, which I'll be doing some, some other upgrading later. I've got a new case. It's like a workbench case, so it'll all be opened up and we can do some different stuff with that. It'll be a lot easier to see. But I have it on right now because I'm using using it here. I've got a couple of the sites up, like uh, Tom's Hardware, uh, Overclockers. I've got this one here. It's Guru. It's G-U-R-U. 3d.com for some information and also I have a one called Hardware Canucks I imagine that one's Canadian up for some benchmarks and I will actually show you some of the graphics later on let's first open this one up and see what we're we're working with here all right so this one here EVGA actually makes two different versions of this they make the one with the the standard cooler on it which looks pretty much like a titan right the, if you you look at it it looks almost just like a titan so this comes with all kinds of cables stuff that we don't need we don't need these cables posters and stickers uh, disc none of this we need because we're swapping out for a 680 I've got the most updated drivers in here currently this is my playthrough computer the computer behind me here is my main computer I've talked about it before this is the one I play Skyrim on this is the one I play some of the other different playthroughs on uh, it's a newer build I will be taking this 680 and putting it into that computer though because that there is a three-year-old GTX 580 that I, that's running in there so I'm gonna be upgrading that one with this 680 okay so I'm gonna show you the difference here what the new what EVGA did was they finally went away from from just using the stock fan and cooler assembly and they went went outside the box and went ahead and designed their own cooler which is unique for them I believe a lot of the other companies like Gigabyte and MSI and those different ones like that they they actually uh, design their own fans and cooling systems and but now EVGA has done it and this is called their ACX cooler and if you can see it's a twin fan design when I get this one out of here you'll see basically what like the stock configuration is it'll have one blower style fan here which what a blower fan does is it pulls it in and it'll blow out the vents and out of your case so if you have a very small case and you don't have a lot of good airflow those are the kind of GPUs that you want to stick with you want to exhaust your your hot air out the back and not inside the case where this one is going to blow down and across and it's going to come out all the fins on the side here and it's going to go right into the case but with this particular case I have I have a uh, Corsair radiator up on top that's got two fans pulling out I've got a 200 millimeter fan in the front pulling. I've got a fan down here below the Corsair power supply. I also have a 120 millimeter fan here pulling it out. I've got a lot of fans. I've got a lot of airflow going on inside this case, so I'm not worried about dumping the air, hot air, into my case. Let's go ahead and take all this stuff off. Plastic wrap. So it's a pretty nice looking card here, if you can see that. It's got the same, I actually have this pulled up here because there's a lot of numbers and stuff to, to try and kind of remember when you're talking about this. But if we look at it, the Titan and this 780, they utilize the same uh, GPU, which is the GK110, except the Titan uses 
it says the Titan's using GK110-300 and the 780 is using a dash 400, but it's got some of the some of the stuff in there disabled, okay? So they're basically using the same chip, the same PCB, and I will show you guys in the benchmarks. Well, let's go let's look at the benchmarks right now. Okay, so if you look here, we're looking at Far Cry 3 running at 2560 by 1440, that's 1440p, using an ultra preset with four times MSAA. And if you look right here at the top, you can see that the EVGA GTX 780 ACX is running 55.71 average, okay? These are frames per second. In second place is the, is the gigabyte version of the the over overclocked version running 54 and you look in third place is the Titan at 52 and then on down there's the stock version the GTX 783 gig that's the stock non super clocked version and right below that the GTX 680 which is the one that we're actually pulling out here today but if you look between the Titan and the sure they're they're not far off 52 to 55 but the key here is that they're they're that close they're literally that close you know, this is just one example of a game that's fairly intensive on a system and we're looking at it in 1440p instead of 1080. So, you know, back to me here, we, this card here is, you can get this card for probably between 620 and $700, I would say. I got it for 640 is what I paid for this thing. I know it's a lot of money, but the Titan card is $1,000. And with, with graphics like you just saw there, benchmarks that are that close to save yourself $300 and go with this card instead of the Titan, I think is the smarter way to go. Now, obviously we're talking about high-end high end stuff here. We're not talking about some of your uh, basic um, needs when it comes to these kind of high-end graphics cards. You know, you're not gonna go be spending $600 700 a thousand dollars on things like this unless I don't know unless you're just kind of a, a tech nerd and you, you want the latest and greatest you maybe are someone who wants to push your systems to see how far you can actually get them to go um, or you're someone who plays on really high resolutions with ultra high settings and you want to see exactly what your uh, graphics card will do for you these stupid things here are a royal pain in my bootay all right, there's one. You get one out of the way, then you can get to the other one fairly easy. All right, so those are, I just, what I did there, you probably can't see is I took off the power supplies, which was an eight pin and a six pin power supply there. And then we've got to go ahead and take loose. This is actually using three, three of the thumb screws to hold it in here. I don't know if you can, I don't know how well you can actually see in here. If you can see, here's the 680 power supply. Right here is an Avermedia Media card. This is actually an in chassis um, video recording card that you would loop out of your out of your GPU into this and away out of this into your monitor. It's a way to record PC gameplay. It works really good as far as taking the, the load off of your taking the load off your CPU. The only problem that I had with it, it desyncs the audio for some reason. I mean, it's, I think it would probably be just a software bug and they're probably working it out, but it does desync the audio. And I talked about this a little bit before. Problem with it is it desyncs the game audio um, by half a second. And I think that's just because like when you hit the record button, it starts recording video a half second before audio. So that's not that big of a deal. The big deal is the microphone input. It desyncs that and it's non-linear. It means that it's not a half second off all the way through. It gets longer and longer and longer delayed, which is a major problem. It's a major problem. That's why I couldn't I couldn't use it anymore, unfortunately, because it's it like I said, it takes a ton of load off of your CPU and therefore you can get increased frame rates and things like that. Alright, so we're just yanking out this bad boy right here. 680 for the win. So you can see this is this is the traditional style a blower oops a blower style fan here which sucks the air in and exhausts it right out the back GTX 680 this was the last the last year's good you know really good model from EVGA and it's a pretty nice card this one is done 
really, really well for me. I haven't even really had it that long. That's the thing. Haven't had it that long. All right, so everything is looking good in here. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take this card and I'm gonna take off. I use one HDMI and I use the DVI dual link is what I use for these two different monitors that I'm actually utilizing here. You gotta watch some of your cabling. It's like once you get your cabling all in and tied down, when you start switching things out like this, sometimes it can actually get in the way. What you wanna do is you wanna keep an eye on the PCI Express slot, make sure all the, the teeth are lined up, everything's lined up here on the end, and you wanna kinda of push it in until it snaps in place. Like that. So we're snapped all the way in place. There is a little lever here that you could check. Right there, so it's all, all snapped in place. We put our screws back in. Take my bigger screwdriver, it's a little bit easier here. Problem is, I, I'm working from the back so I can try and show you guys. I hope that it's gonna show up. I've got kind of a bright light facing inside here from up there, trying to help, help you guys see it a little bit better. Probably eventually someday I'll figure out how to come up with a good camera angle so I'm not working upside down and backwards with this stuff, but for now, it's not really important. This um, this PC here, I've, I've got a fair amount of money into it for it to be, you know, a really good PC for what I'm doing. You gotta remember that it's not, some people talk about frame rates and, and things like that and, and all this settings when they're just playing the game, right? You gotta remember that I'm playing the game and recording at the same time. So there's a lot more going on with people who actually are recording videos and doing stuff like that. So it looks like it takes an eight pin and a six pin, which is exactly what I have from my other card. Just gonna make sure that everything's lined up here as far as the, uh, they're, they're, they've got unique shapes on some of them, so it shows you exactly how to plug it in. I think this, this one's probably upside down because they were stacked before. And that would be, yeah, it's upside down. And I've got them zip tied together already from my old card, so it's, it's a little bit of a struggle here. I'm sweating because it's like, it's super hot outside and I've got this big light on me and my air conditioning, woo! Dude, I'm literally, I'm dripping sweat right now. <laughs> awesome. Okay, so let's take a closer look at this, if you can see now. So now we've got the, the EVGA GeForce GTX 780 installed here. We've got our power hooked up. We've got everything connected back. They've got our ASUS motherboard. We've got our Corsair water cooling. The radiator's right up here on the top. I've got fans mounted from the outside. I've got a, a compartment that lifts up there. If you Can you see in there? Corsair power supply, Dominator RAM. I've got a 520 SSD, a pair of two gigabyte hard drives here. And it's a, it's a pretty nice setup. It's a pretty nice little setup here. And like I said, I'm gonna take the, the 680 and mount it in my other system here. Um, like I said, this was basically not, it's not about benchmarks and tech stuff. There's plenty of experts that do that stuff on the net. Again, look at some of those sites like Tom's Hardware, Overclockers, The Guru, Canucks Hardware, all that stuff. You can find them. Just search GTX 780SC benchmarks and you'll find the benchmarks and they'll do comparisons against some AMD cards, against even the older 680 and the Titan and you'll see some of these benchmarks for yourself. If you're in the market for, you know, if you got the coin and you're in the market for a high-end card but you don't want to go all the way to the Titan, this is a good option. The superclocked version is a is a kind of a safe choice if you don't want to do any overclocking yourself. These these have very good software programs for you to come in here and do overclocking on these and push push the limits of your card. This one here is overclocked well over the stock and in the condition that's in now it's competing with the Titan which is good for me. I like something that's been basically factory overclocked that's going to be super stable and reliable at, uh, at your higher frames per second. So hope you guys enjoyed the video. We'll see you guys next time.